Screen printing is an art. We get it. No one particular way to do a job. This is just our take on it, with some quick tips to help you elevate techniques while improving efficiency in your shop. All that and add a dash of Business 101 and you've got yourself a series. For anyone out there, press for time. I'm Damien from Dynamic Supply. Welcome back to Press for Time. Today we're gonna to talk about something that seems to be coming up a lot lately, which is trying to print on some of these under fabrics or stretch fabrics, the Under Armors and Nikes of the world, and they tend to be really stretchy, 100% polyester, they're lightweight, they're a bit of a bear to print on. Rutland's come out with a brand new series, and when I say series is because they've got three different components. They have a standalone white, they have a barrier base, and they have a base for mixing where you can use the Rutland C3 mixing system to make Pantone colors so you can specifically match team colors or anything that you might need to match for the schools and stuff. One of the great advantages to this system is it's a low cure system so you can cure it anywhere from 280 to 300 degrees instead of the 320 plus so that helps if you watched our other video about the different whites we use the dye migration that kind of stuff those lower temps help to kind of keep that dye migration in check the other advantage is this product is very stretchy. So you know if you put standard plastisol on something, you're gonna get some stretch, but you're not gonna get enough to really kind of accommodate those things. So if you're working with CrossFit gyms or schools or any of these guys, you know you're gonna be able to get them a product that'll really stretch, won't bleed, and the other advantage to this is it's got a beautiful hand. So it's nice and soft and light. The last thing you want, you're, you know, you're at the gym, you're working out, you're wearing one of these things, you got a big plastic patch on and you're just sweating underneath it, it's miserable. This is gonna give you a lot less hand, it's gonna make a lot smoother print, so it'll be nice and glassy, and it's a really great way to kind of take care of this, what can be a pretty difficult print. We've been selling it, we're having a lot of success with it. If you have questions about it, you can give us a call here at dynamicsps.com or you can go to the Rutland website. It's got a lot of great information on it and we're doing really, really well with it. So here's what the product looks like. This is a printed sample on obviously a very lightweight, stretchy fabric. We've used the white here, standalone. So we've got a nice white with a nice smooth hand, real stretchy. We've used the base for mixing right here with some C3 pigments to create this blue. And we've used the barrier gray right here to create the gray. The nice thing about the barrier gray, if you've got a product that bleeds really, really bad, you're gonna to wanna to use the barrier gray. If it's not super bad bleeder, you're probably just okay with the white as your base plate. Another quick tip for you, I know a lot of times trying to adhere this really lightweight product to the boards can be tough. The company we carry, Techmar, has a great product for doing that called TBEZ. It's kind of a, a high tack item designed specifically for working with these really lightweight fabrics. These things tend to be expensive too, so the last thing you wanna do is get a misprint on these things. This product can really help you there. Thanks for watching, now get back to work. This episode of Press for Time has been brought to you and powered by Dynamic Screen Printing Supply and produced by ProQuoter. Remember, it all starts with a quote. Go ahead and just talk to me. Is this really okay? Quick. Hands, does this look all right? Yeah, yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay, yeah. Welcome back. I'm Damien from Dynamic Supply. Well, okay. <laughs>